Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I'm Anuja Kumar and with me is Prashant Kumar Sinha with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviews COVID-related situation with chief ministers of Punjab, Karnataka, Bihar and Uttarakhand. Center releases advance amount of over 8,923 crore rupees to 25 states for grants to rural local bodies in view of COVID-19 pandemic. Bihar government launches vaccination drive for 18 to 44 age group from today. Lockdown extended in the national capital till 17th of May. Metro services to also remain suspended. Uttar Pradesh government also extends state lockdown for another week. Active COVID cases in the country declined to nearly 16.76% of the total reported cases. Over 16 crore 94 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Himanta Biswa Sarma to be the new Chief Minister of Assam. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports to create a special support cell for medical, financial and logistical support to former international athletes and coaches. Prime Minister Narendra Modi pays tributes to Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore on the occasion of his birth anniversary today. As the number of COVID cases is on the rise, we appeal to our listeners to take all precautions and all those above 18 years of age to get vaccinated without any hesitation. The vaccination for persons of age between 18 and 44 has begun at designated facilities. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain two gaz ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today spoke to Chief Ministers of Punjab, Karnataka, Bihar and Uttarakhand on the COVID-related situation in their states. In the last few days, Mr. Modi has spoken to the Chief Ministers of other states also over the issue and took stock of the situation of the health-related facilities and vaccination. They include Chief Ministers of Tamil Nadu, Jharkhand, Odisha, Telangana, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Sikkim. The center has released over 8,923 crore rupees to 25 states for providing grants to the rural local bodies in advance in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. The grants are meant for all the three tiers of Panchayati Raj institutions, village, block and district. Panchayati Raj institutions can utilize the fund, among other things, for various prevention and mitigation measures needed to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. The Bihar government has launched vaccination drive for 18 to 44 age group from today. Vaccines will be available at the nearest health centers. Prior registration and slot booking is must for getting vaccinated. Health Minister Mangal Pandey said Bihar has received 3,50,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines for the persons in the age group of 18 to 45 years. मुख्यमंत्री जी के निर्देशानुसार आज रविवार 9 मई से पूरे राज्य में टीकाकरण का कार्य प्रारंभ किया जा रहा है यह टीकाकरण उन स्थानों से अलग होगा जहां पे लोगों का जांच और उपचार हो रहा है अगले 3-4 दिनों में अन्य सरकारी एवं अन्य भवनों को चिन्हित करके उन स्थानों पे भी यह टीका दिया जाएगा the Uttar Pradesh government has decided to further extend the duration of the corona curfew in the state for one week amid the surge in coronavirus cases. The previous curfew was to end tomorrow morning, but now it will continue till the 17th of May. On the 29th of April, the state government had announced that weekend lockdowns will also cover Mondays, and on the 3rd of May it was extended till the 6th of May. The curfew was further extended to the 10th of May. In Delhi, the lockdown has been extended till 17th of this month. The Delhi Metro services will also be suspended during this period. Briefing media, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival said the lockdown period has been used to boost the medical infrastructure and to increase oxygen beds at various locations in the national capital. The Chief Minister said the COVID positivity rate has come down from 35% to 23% in the last few days.
कोरोना के केस कम तो हुए हैं अभी भी बहुत हैं। 23 परसेंट अभी भी संक्रमण दर है तो सबका ये मानना है कि अभी लॉकडाउन को और एक्सटेंड करने की जरूरत है बरकरार रखने की जरूरत है तो इसीलिए सरकार ने आप सब लोगों के फीडबैक के आधार पे मजबूरी वश अभी एक हफ्ते का लॉकडाउन और बढ़ाया जा रहा है कल सुबह पांच बजे ये लॉकडाउन खत्म होना था लेकिन अब ये अगले सोमवार के सुबह पांच बजे तक के लिए बढ़ाया जा रहा है और इस बार थोड़ा सा और सख्त किया जा रहा है कल से दिल्ली के अंदर मेट्रो भी चलना बंद हो जाएंगी हमारी कोशिश है कि जितना ज्यादा लॉकडाउन को सख्त किया जाएगा उतना तेजी से हम सब लोग कोरोना पे काबू पा पाएंगे द डेली डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी डी डी एम एज सेट दैट देर विल बी कम्प्लीट प्रोहिबिशन ऑन मैरिज सेरेमनीज एट पब्लिक प्लेसेज बैंक हॉल्स होटेल्स एंड सिमिलर प्लेसेज ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन पीरियड टिल द सेवेंटीन ऑफ दिस मंथ इन एन ऑर्डर टूडे डी डी एम ए सेड सच फंक्शन अलाउड एट होम और इन कोर्ट विथ not over 20 people the movement for the said purpose shall be allowed with the production of soft or hard copy of marriage card the dj sound system tentage catering or similar kind of services will not be allowed for any marriage ceremony the cumulative share of active covid cases in the country has declined to comprise nearly 16.76% of the total reported cases the health ministry has said that currently over 37 lakh 36000 people are reported to be suffering from the viral pandemic and are either hospitalized or under home isolation in the last 24 hours 4 lakh 3738 new covid-19 cases were registered in the country With this the recovery rate has further improved to stand at 82.15%. The center has so far provided more than 17.56 crore vaccine doses to states and union territories free of cost. Of this the total consumption including wastages is over 16 crore 83 lakh doses. More than 72 lakh covid vaccine doses are still available with states and union territories to be administered. states with negative balance are showing more consumption including wastage than vaccine supplied as they have not reconciled the vaccine they have supplied to the armed forces in the next 3 days more than 46 lakh additional vaccine doses will be received by the states and uts india has administered over 16 crore 94 lakh doses of covid-19 vaccine in the country so far these include nearly 95 lakh 40000 healthcare workers who have taken the first dose and more than 64 lakh healthcare workers who have taken the second dose over 1 crore 39 lakh frontline workers have taken the first dose and more than 77 lakh frontline workers have taken the second dose india launched the world's largest vaccination drive on the 16th of january of this year the health ministry said that since yesterday more than 20 lakh 23000 beneficiaries were inoculated with covid-19 vaccine doses till this morning Karnataka Health Department will commence the COVID vaccination drive exclusively for persons between 18 and 44 years. The Health and Medical Education Minister Dr. K Sudhakar has informed that all major government hospitals and medical colleges will take up vaccination for those between 18 and 44 years. He has asked the people in this specific age group to register for this exclusive session and schedule their inoculation on Covin portal. He has added that people can also go directly to the vaccination center and wait for their turn. More from our correspondent. The minister Dr. Sudhakar has assured people in the state that efforts are being made to vaccinate each and every citizen in the state. He said continuous efforts are made to secure supply of the vaccine. He sought patience from citizens to wait for their turn and assured them of the vaccine jab he said that the state government has placed an order for 2 crore doses of covid shield and 1 crore of covaxin the covid shield manufacturer serum institute has already supplied 6.5 lakh doses of vaccine and the next consignment will be delivered by may 2nd or 3rd week it is estimated that the state has 3.26 crore people in the age group 18 and 44 and 6.52 crore doses are needed to fully vaccinate them with two doses sudhindra air news bengaluru The vaccination drive begins from tomorrow. In Maharashtra, a 30-bed COVID care center has been established by Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Smarak Samiti, Deeksha Bhumi in Nagpur. The president of Samiti, Bhante Arya Nagarjuna Surai Sasai, inaugurated the center today along with officials of Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Situated near Central Dome of Deeksha Bhumi, this center is providing free facilities for COVID patients. In a bid to reduce the load on COVID hospitals and COVID care centers in rural Maharashtra, 
Various organizations and other entities are coming forward to establish the fully equipped COVID centers. Two more COVID centers have been started in the state and these are expected to serve the most needy patients in these areas. A report. A fully equipped COVID care center has become functional at the famous Diksha Bhumi in Nagpur today. Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Memorial Committee has established the center and it was inaugurated by Bhante Arya Nagarjun Surai Sasai. This center has 15 oxygen beds and 15 isolation beds and free of cost treatment will be given to COVID patients. Responding to the appeal made by the state government to the APMCs to contribute in the fight against the pandemic, Manavat APMC in Parbhani district has come forward for the cause and has established fully equipped 80 bed COVID care center. The center was established in the girls' hostel of the Social Justice Department near Tahsil office of Parbhani. Even though the capacity of these centers seems to be less, the specialist doctors and special facilities in these centers are expected to reduce the burden on government hospitals in rural areas. Shailesh Patil, AR News, Mumbai. In Telangana, the Sarpanch of a tiny village, Agamotkur, in Nagonda district, has set up a COVID care center voluntarily by utilizing all available resources as the second wave of COVID-19 is affecting even remote areas. About 20 COVID patients have recovered in the center and 35 more COVID patients are on their way to recovery at the local high school, which was turned into a COVID care center, a report from our Hyderabad correspondent. Many government and non-government organizations are coming together and extending a helping hand to the vulnerable sections of society. To recover from COVID-19, Mohammed Afzal, the Sarpanj of a small village, Agamothkur in Nalgonda district, is alone making efforts to take care of his villagers and contain the spread of the pandemic. Speaking to AIR News, Abdul said he is taking care of these patients with good food, accommodation and medical consultation. सरकारी स्कूल में आइसोलेशन सेंटर लगाने का तरीका पेशेंट को इस आइसोलेशन सेंटर को पहुंचा के अच्छे डॉक्टरों से सरकारी डॉक्टरों से इलाज दिलवा रहा हूं जो कुछ भी उन लोगों जो कुछ भी जरूरत है खाना पानी डिकाशन वगैरह अच्छा सा खाना खिला रहा हूं अभी तक यहां से ट्रीटमेंट लेके 25 आदमी चले गए अब प्रेजेंट तो 35 आदमी का ट्रीटमेंट चल रहा some more villages are now coming forward to help Afzal in this endeavor with Ramakrishna Lakshmi AIR News Hyderabad in Tamil Nadu, the first cabinet meeting led by Chief Minister M.K. Stalin was held at the State Secretariat today. The meeting was held as there has been a surge in the COVID cases. More from our Chennai correspondent. The Chief Minister stressed that use of oxygen should not be wasted. He told that the sale of Rendesvir in six places including Chennai should be facilitated and strict action should be taken against black marketing. He also underlined the increase in awareness on vaccination and urged the health, revenue, police, urban and rural development ministers to coordinate and handle the crisis. The state government has formed a high-level team under Dr. Deres Ahmed to monitor and coordinate distribution of oxygen cylinders, availability of beds and supervising the hospitals. Five other top officials will also coordinate the activities related to COVID war room in the state. Joy, AIA News, Chennai. In terms of corona infection, Madhya Pradesh now stands at the 15th rank in the country. There has been a steady decline in new cases of COVID-19 for the last several days in the state. A report from a Bhopal correspondent. According to official health bulletin, 11,598 new patients were detected in state yesterday, while 4,445 patients recovered. Big cities like Bhopal, Indore, Jabalpur and Gwalior are reporting more cases. The active cases in the state now stand at more than 1 lakh, but the relief is that for the last three weeks, new cases have been decreasing regularly. Chief Minister Shiva Singh Chauhan has said that every COVID-19 patient in the state will be provided with oxygen and ICU beds as per the requirement for treatment. He said that health facilities have been improved in every district. Rashid Ahmed Khan from Bhopal. In Kerala, on the second day of the statewide lockdown, people at large are cooperating in following the restrictions. The state continues to report a rise in the COVID cases with 41,971 new infections confirmed yesterday. More from our correspondent. Most of the streets are seen deserted with only shops selling essential goods opened. Police have tightened their norms after many cases of protocol violation were reported in remote areas of the state yesterday. More than 25,000 police personnel have been deployed in various parts of the state to enforce the lockdown restrictions. 
strict screening of vehicles are being carried out in interstate and inter district borders meanwhile as the public transport is not functioning the kerala state road transport corporation has initiated 54 special bus services to medical colleges and important hospitals from 6:30 am to 8:30 pm for hospital employees mayusha so ai news from tiruvannathapuram In a major breakthrough against the coronavirus infection, a drug developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation (DRDO) got the approval for emergency use by the Drugs Controller General of India (DCGI). Amid the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, this drug will prove to be beneficial for the patients who are suffering from COVID-19. The drug 2-deoxy-D glucose comes in powder form in sachet, which needs to be taken orally by dissolving it in water. it accumulates in the virus infected cells and prevents virus growth by stopping viral synthesis and energy production its selective accumulation in virally infected cells makes this drug unique the drug has been developed by one of the drdo labs institute of nuclear medicine and allied sciences in mass in collaboration with dr reddy's laboratories results of clinical trials have shown that this molecule helps in faster recovery of hospitalized patients and reduces supplemental oxygen dependence dcgi granted permission for emergency use of this drug as adjunct therapy in moderate to severe covid patients being a generic molecule and analog of glucose it can be easily produced and made available in the country speaking exclusively to air news director general life sciences at drdo headquarters Dr Ajay Kumar Singh said that supplementary oxygen dependency of covid patients decreased significantly after usage of 2 deoxy d glucose and it also reduced their duration of hospitalization Dr Singh said stepping out of its domain DRDO has done human service during the covid pandemic the mask the this is cdr means chemical biological radiological or nuclear iske liye hum protective gear banate hain ndc suit ndc mask humne us knowledge ko extend kiya hai ki usko n95 mask aur agar mask ki testing ke liye desh ko samarpit kiya pp kit jab hoti hai uski jo silai hoti hai seat pe us pe ek tape lagti hai aur glue lagta hai files mein bahut tarah ke hum adhesives ya bonding material use karte hain humne unko analyze kiya yahan pe drdo ne apne domain se apni technology aur से आगे निकल के काम किया जिससे कि हम इस कोविड मैनेजमेंट में अपना योगदान दें Listeners can tune in to AIR FM Gold Channel at 9:15 p.m. tonight to listen to the complete interview with DG Life Sciences DRDO Dr. Ajay Kumar Singh on this breakthrough development in our feature program Spotlight. You are listening to the midday news on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviews COVID related situation with chief ministers of Punjab, Karnataka, Bihar and Uttarakhand. Center releases advanced amount of over 8923 crore rupees to 25 states for grants to rural local bodies in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Bihar government launches vaccination drive for 18 to 44 age group from today. Lockdown extended in the national capital till the 17th of May. Metro services to also remain suspended. Uttar Pradesh government also extends state lockdown for another week. Active COVID cases in the country declined to nearly 16.76% of the total reported cases. Over 16 crore 94 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Hemant Biswa Sarma to be the new chief minister of Assam. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports to create a special support cell for medical, financial and logistical support to former international athletes and coaches. Prime Minister Narendra Modi pays tribute to Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore on the occasion of his birth anniversary today. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alert. Hello, welcome to the show. Welcome back to the Midday News on All India Radio. 
The global community is extending a helping hand to support India's efforts to meet the challenges and requirements of the unprecedented surge in the number of COVID-19 cases in the second wave of the global pandemic. The center has been ensuring the global aid is being effectively and promptly allocated and delivered to states and UTs to supplement their efforts during this critical phase. Over 6,600 oxygen concentrators, over 3,800 oxygen cylinders, 14 oxygen generation plants, over 4,300 ventilators or BiPAP or CPAP and more than 3 lakh remdesivir vials have been delivered or dispatched so far. Now let us listen to a musical composition giving a message to fight the corona pandemic. It has been written by S.N. Mishra and sung by Mamata Mishra. Senior BJP leader Himanta Biswa Sarma will be the next Chief Minister of Assam. He was elected as the leader of the Legislative Party today. The Legislative Party meeting was held in Guwahati today in the presence of Central Observers Narendra Singh Tomar and Arun Singh. Senior leaders P.L. Santosh and Vijayant J. Panda were also present in the meeting. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Tomar said that Mr. Himanta Biswa Sarma has been elected unanimously. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed grief on the demise of Indian National Army INA veteran Lalti Ram. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said, Lalti Ramji's courage and contributions to India's freedom struggle will never be forgotten. The Prime Minister recalled his interactions with the INA veteran. Mr. Modi said, greats like him have left an indelible mark on India's history. Retired IAS officer, All India Radio's former Afghanistan correspondent, Rajinder Prasad Upadhyay passed away today due to COVID-19 complications. He was 63. Hailing from Pithoragarh in Uttarakhand, he did his post-graduation from Kumau University. He joined the Indian Information Service after serving many years in the Department of Post. He was also a great Gandhian scholar. A retired IIS officer with a long stint in All India Radio Bengaluru, V.S. Surya Narayana, passed away in Bengaluru today. Admitted in hospital due to COVID-related conditions, he passed away today morning due to heart attack. Retired as Director News in Doordarshan Kendra, Bangaluru, he had served in All India Radio News Unit in Delhi and as RNU Head in Bangaluru and Dharpad. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid rich tributes to Vishwakavi Rabindranath Tagore on the occasion of his birth anniversary today. Remembering Nobel laureate Tagore, Mr. Modi said that made the exemplary ideals of the renowned polymath keep giving everyone the strength and inspiration to build the India he dreamt of. Rabindranath Tagore's birth anniversary is also called Pacheshe Boishak in Bengali. Poet, novelist, essayist, philosopher and musician, Tagore is one of those great masters of literature whose works hardly left any human emotion untouched. Gurudev penned over 2,000 songs which are also known as Rabindra Sangeet. He became the first non-European to be awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. Rabindranath Tagore wrote the national anthem of two countries, India and Bangladesh, Janitanaman and Amar Shonar Bangla. Let's listen in to this beautiful piece of Rabindra Sangeet.
The Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Indian Olympic Association IOA and the Sports Authority of India SAI have joined hands to create a special support cell to ensure that former international athletes and coaches have access to medical, financial and logistical support during COVID-19. Former international athletes and coaches can put forward their requirements for medical aid, oxygen, hospitalization and other support on an online platform www.research.net oblique r oblique sai ioa covid19 which is already operational besides a national committee state level working groups consisting of representatives of ioa state government officials and sai have also been formed to assist applicants from every state speaking about the initiative sports minister kiran rijuju said the government stands by those who have contributed to sport in india all their lives and have brought laurels to the country he said these are tough times and government want to ensure that the ex athletes or coaches have a full support system to fight the covid-19 pandemic mr rijuju expressed his happiness about the joint initiative in tennis arena sabalenka stunned world number 1 ashley barty to win the madrid open for the first time yesterday in the women's singles final world number 1 World number 7 Belarus' Sabalenka beat the Australian player 6-0 3-6 6-4 in the men's semi-finals number 6 ranked Alexander Zverev followed his triumph over Rafael Nadal with a win over number 4 Dominic Thiem of Austria 6-3 6-4 6-4 to reach the final Now let us take a look at the weather forecast for today National capital Delhi is having a partly cloudy sky. The maximum temperature will be around 40 degrees Celsius, while the minimum was 23 degrees. Mumbai, with partly cloudy sky, is likely to see a maximum temperature of around 34 degrees Celsius, rising from a lower level of 27 degrees. Kolkata is experiencing partly cloudy sky. There is possibility of moderate rain or thunderstorm. The city temperature will move from a minimum of 26 degrees Celsius to a maximum of around 35 degrees. Chennai with partly cloudy sky is likely to see a maximum temperature of around 36 degrees Celsius rising from a lower level of 28 degrees. Srinagar is witnessing partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm. The maximum temperature will be 24 degrees Celsius while the minimum was 13 degrees. Jammu is also experiencing partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm. The temperature will rise from a minimum of 22 degrees Celsius to a maximum of around 38 degrees. Leh is witnessing partly cloudy sky with maximum temperature to be expected at 18 degrees Celsius from minimum of 5 degrees. Gilgit is having partly cloudy sky. Temperature will move from a minimum of 13 degrees Celsius to a maximum of 31 degrees. Muzaffarabad is having partly cloudy sky and it will be generally cloudy towards afternoon or evening. The temperature will increase from a minimum of 17 degrees Celsius to a maximum of around 32 degrees. Dehradun is having partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm. The maximum temperature will be around 34 degrees Celsius from minimum of 22 degrees. Chandigarh is having a partly cloudy sky. Hyderabad is experiencing partly cloudy sky with possibility of one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Patna is having partly cloudy sky and in Guwahati it is having generally cloudy sky there's a possibility of a few spells of rain or thunder showers. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviews COVID related situation with chief ministers of Punjab, Karnataka, Bihar and Uttarakhand. Center releases advance amount of over 8923 crore rupees to 25 states for grants to rural local bodies in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Bihar government launches vaccination drive for 18 to 44 age group from today. Lockdown extended in the national capital till 17th of May. Metro services to also remain suspended. Uttar Pradesh government also extends state lockdown for another week. Active COVID cases in the country declined to nearly 16.76% of the total reported cases. Over 16 crore 94 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Himanta Biswa Sarma to be the new chief minister of Assam. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports to create a special support cell for medical, financial and logistical support to former international athletes and coaches. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi pays tributes to Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore on the occasion of his birth anniversary today. And with that, we end the midday news.